What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Jurassic World Dominion in this video once again. I just did a video uploaded late last night. Now I'm uploading another one today because they actually went ahead and released the second trailer online for everyone to enjoy and it was amazing. It pretty much was exactly what was described from the CinemaCon footage that was ex that was revealed to everyone in attendance there for that Universal panel. Which again was jam packed with a lot of things. They had. I'm still gonna do a video on Megan. So if for any of you looking forward to another horror content video for me, I'm gonna do Megan later. But the footage that we saw highlighted a lot of things that again were talked about from the description. Uh, of the footage shown at CinemaCon. We see Owen greeted by Blue at one point and her baby, but the baby is then abducted. Blue lets out a cry and Owen makes a promise to bring her back. Ian Malcolm is shown says genetic power has now been unleashed. And then we see shots of ter like a pterodactyl flying over the city. And then I think we see um, Henry Wu who discusses, or, or Dr. Wu, who discusses a terrible mistake that's been made. There are, of course, several shots of dinosaurs just wreaking havoc. Velociraptors are indeed chasing Owen and Claire while they are on motorcycles. So I'm sure that's going to be a very fun sequence to watch unfold because it just looks exhilarating from the trailers alone. There are a lot of explosive shots. Uh, the legacy cast are shown interacting with the new cast. And then the footage ends with the group being attacked by the new dino gigant Gigantosaurus. So... As far as my thoughts on the overall trailer for this for this movie, this second trailer, it got me even more excited. And I did want to say that tickets are indeed now on sale. If you want to go out and buy your tickets, you can go buy them over on Fandango, I believe. They should also be available on Adam Tickets, maybe even some other apps like the AMC app. Cinemark, I believe, has them up and going now, too. That, that went live earlier than I believe before they released this trailer. Now, for those of you who are watching this video right now, if you want to notate anything, I'm probably going to see the movie the week it comes out on Monday or maybe the week, maybe a week early. Because, I'm, of course, I'm going to see it before, before it releases. So then I'll have a spoiler free review up on the channel uh, that same week before it releases for those of you who want to watch my review. But going back into the trailer, the trailer itself was very fun it got me very uh emotional only because of the fact that while we had these fun shots of these humans interacting with these dinosaurs we did get to hear more of that iconic jurassic park theme and i just i just have a soft spot for that theme that theme really just i feel like for everyone who was lucky enough to experience jurassic park as a child when you hear this theme even now into your adult years it always just takes you back to that first time you were a little girl or a little boy uh, or a little person just whoever you want to be um and you got to watch jurassic park for the first time and you heard that iconic theme song it was such a source of like just how con he how cohesive and complete that first movie was even if we didn't get any sequels i'm glad we have the franchise that we do have because while i do see that there's some that have a lot of massive problems none of them are are, are boring and then again the closest one that comes to that for me is the lost world jurassic park but the footage that we saw here in jurassic world dominion we also got a, a good look in blue's baby who i i guess i can say is adorable for now until she becomes blue's height uh the footage we see for or saw for jurassic world dominion it was very fulfilling for me it got me more hyped up for the movie do i think this movie is going to be the best thing ever no i do think this movie is going to be a solid six out of ten right now and i'm hoping to have my expectations surpassed uh i'm also just expecting this movie to hopefully not be as heavily retcon heavy as i think it will be because of biosyn's presence and me just being kind of positive that what they're going to do with biosyn is try to is try to hold them over as like this overarching villain that's been here since day one you know they actually pulled the strings here they pulled the strings there now you're backtracking to other movies that you weren't even involved with to try to make your narrative work which again in return makes your narrative come across weak because you had to go back and adjust things to make yours work rather than just expanding on what was already established but it was nice to see Dr. Grant. It was nice to see the legacy cast interact with the with the newer cast. And this quote unquote supposed end of the Jurassic era. I mean, we saw glimpses of what what we are already basically going to experience when we watch this movie. There were shots of people eating or not people eating, but dinosaurs eating people running wild through cities. Uh, I'm not sure how much carnage will be going on in certain cities or how how much damage and destruction has been caused across the earth with dinosaurs and humans now coexisting. But hopefully Jurassic World Dominion will share light on that. And I'm curious to just see how this movie wraps up in the sense that with them saying this is supposed to be the end of the Jurassic era, but the plan is to, if successful, still carry 
carry on with future movies if that's what they still want to do how is this movie going to end does this movie set up future movies or does this movie end in a way that just lets you leave the door open to explore future movies just in the case of it can feel like an ending but also leave the door wide open a la scream 3 for those of you who watch my screen videos uh doing something like that where just in case if dominion proves to be not the success they thought it would be they'll just call it quits and that'll be the end of the franchise i know many people like myself included would love for this to be the last movie uh a lot of people thought that the last one should have been the last movie but i'm all about completing your your narratives with the idea about knowing that they had this kind of mapped out and this is again something that i can say is very similar to what we start what we've been getting with the halloween trilogy this has been the most cohesive and coherent um structure for the jurassic park series in well it's a whole entire existence because it doesn't have as many movies as the halloween movies do because with the original trilogy jurassic park one two and three it felt like everything was being written off the fly but with this one you can see that it's slowly being built up to a in game there's always been this idea in mind they've had something mapped out they've had these ideas and they've just been able to kind of bring them to life not saying that they had everything figured out but it definitely is evident that they had this figured out more so than what we were getting with those original movies when they were coming out in the 90s to early 2000s so with the jurassic era ending and as we saw a lot of the action-packed fun coming our way in this new trailer i'm hoping that we'll at least get glimpses as to what might be the direction they could explore going into jurassic because they might not even call the future movies jurassic anything they might just rely solely on the fact that you know this is a jurassic movie but it's not going to be called anything regarding jurassic park or jurassic world because of the fact that it's supposed to be the end of the jurassic era and you'll just get countless movies with humans and dinosaurs interacting in the same world so are we going to are we going to dive into like walking dead type of stuff where you have you know like a, an apocalyptic thing going on if that's the narrative they want to present i'm not sure how it'll work i'm definitely curious to see how humans are adapting to living with dinosaurs and i'm sure we'll get to see glimpses of that in jurassic world domain when it releases on june 10th later this year let me know what you guys thought about the second trailer down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you want me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video